groundbreaking. You know, five waves in simultaneous fashion, they all break at the same time. You've got an expert riding a wave at the same time as an absolute beginner, at the same time as an intermediate, and literally a break for everyone, as our motto says. I think many of the people approach us because they see these wonderful waves and, and they think this is a great amenity and a central attraction. And as they explore it with us, they understand there's actually many more layers of benefits. But then when they realise that, there's also, I guess, the fact that with that, you're creating 800 metres of absolute beachfront with perfect surf. So that actually is a developer's dream. They can capture incredible value and release that with retail, commercial, residential precincts around it. So it's like taking a mini Gold Coast and planting it anywhere in the world that you want. So the throughput per hour is absolutely critical. By producing the most number of waves and having the highest throughput, over 2,000 waves an hour, if you've got 200 or 300 people in the water for each session, you can have more people around the outside. So it could be the mum and the kids are in there surfing, she's hanging around. It increases the revenue, not just of the surf park, the number of waves that you're selling, it increases the revenue of food and beverage, you know, accommodation, everything is increased. And the other compelling force here is the fact that surfing has been placed in the Olympics for the first time. For that to become a sustainable ongoing exercise, you're going to need wave pills. But you'll need wave pills that produce overhead barrels with variety, with challenge, with excitement. We've got all that. Well, if we look at it from a broader community engagement perspective, it's not just about the riding wave. There's so many different options to a surf lake that, that can benefit the, the community broadly. And again, turn the waves off and you have a fantastic facility for, for even sailing, for kayaking, for triathlons, for anything that's water-based. We realised in discussions with licensees that many of them have either site constraints or they're just not in a current surf market. And so the concept of having overhead barrels in some countries is really not needed, or not yet. And so many of them wanted to have a, a smaller version, which is just really a family entertainment, learn to surf type model. And so we're developing that standard model, uh, which is a smaller lake, smaller mechanism, and therefore smaller waves. But it's much more accessible, uh, in much more accessible cost-wise, and, and size of footprint of the lake, and then the waves are generally all intermediate waves. We will have, in some cases, a, a one hollow wave for those that do have more skills. And it still then provides a progression from white water to rolling surf into a hollow wave. Scaling up to a triple overhead wave with our technology is entirely viable. We did feasibility on, on much, much bigger systems before we settled on this one. So absolutely, we can make it a lot bigger. We offer everything from the smallest to the largest and we've got the pros stoked and guys like me who are average surfers just looking at it going, one day maybe I'll be able to surf that. The vision for wave pools is enormous. What we're seeing now in the market is people are just starting to catch on of, of what they can do with these facilities. We believe that every country in the world will have multiple wave pools. Particularly in our case, we're offering something which gives you the variety and the productivity to make it profitable. And I don't want to harp on the money, but obviously it's important. They're not cheap to build. You have to have something which gives a return for the owners and the shareholders involved. And so that's almost the baseline for us, is that can you actually make some money from these things? and therefore it gives it sustainability. We're not trying to replace the ocean, but we want to be as close as we possibly can to it. And the waves that we produce here are definitely real ocean light waves with a, with a peak and a trough. You look at the result for the waves and you know the smiles on everyone's faces, it, it is an absolute success. We have proven the technology resoundingly, now it really is just an engineering exercise. Started slow Like a tree grows out in the open These things don't grow The electricity that powers the electric motors can absolutely be generated from renewable sources such as solar panels and wind turbines. We just need to turn a compressor shaft. Um, how you want to do that, there's endless possibilities. You normally don't have people hanging around the soccer field or a football field after hours just because it looks pretty. 
Whereas you go to one of these facilities, you'll want cafes, restaurants, you know, people want to live there just so they can see it, look at it, play at it. We have legitimate waves that can really wow people and we've only just started. We can scale up, we can produce what you want, wherever you want. The appetite for that's growing, the, um, it's, it's the birth of an industry and I see them being a common fixture in at least the surfing centres and then the potential for taking surfing to regions that don't have waves is amazing. I think what we'd hope for people when they, when they see this is to understand that A, it's real, we're producing incredible waves. If they have that desire for their country, for their city, their location, their theme park, whatever it may be, that they really need to contact us to explore the possibilities. Once they understand the, the layers of opportunity that come with our style of facility, that they can't pass it up. We really believe in it and we want people to have the opportunity to, uh, to consider this and take it on for their community. So give us a call.